I'm Danny Helen and I'm with Maverick Agriculture and today we're going to be spreading some winter rye over corn before harvest and I'm just going to take you through kind of how we have our setup and how we're going to do things today. So right now we are calibrating our T40 before we go out into the field and start spreading cover crop. Uh, we have a whole video on a step by step on how to calibrate so make sure to check that out if you want to know how to do this. So now that our calibration is complete with our winter ride, we're going to head out to our field. So right here we just have our flatbed trailer that we kind of use for a bunch of different purposes around the farm and today it's going to be our loading station. So I'm going to be landing the drone on the back here, hopefully far enough away where it doesn't yell at me for being too close to everything else. And then we don't have our DJI generator right now, so we are using our generator. And because we don't have the proprietary hookup with the DJI generator, we're using two battery stations since they only charge one at a time. So we can hopefully get some faster charging with those batteries. So we're gonna use these buckets to fill up with our winter eye to fill up from the drone. So we can take the buckets from here over to our drone uh, for loading. And then this is our seed tender that my dad actually custom made. It basically has a gauge up there to tell us how much we have. So we have about a thousand pounds of winter rye in there right now. And then this, this switch has a magnet so I can kind of just set it where I want to and it turns on and off for the seed to run out and into the buckets. After the seed comes out and fills in the buckets, we'll basically just walk over there and fill up from the drone. All right, so we got about 50 acres plotted out here and we're gonna do about um, 30, 36 pounds an acre. And I have it set to 1300 for a disc speed with uh, about a 20 feet per second with 26 route spacing and I'm about nine feet above the crop. I just want to keep in mind is you're going to probably always want to have some type of towel or rag with you to clean off those sensors because what you might find with spreading and spraying sometimes too is that they'll get washed back up into the drone and it can sometimes block the sensors from reading the ground and it thinks that it's picking up something when really it's just dust on the sensor so make sure to bring something with you and just clean them off every so often or when needed. Wrapping up, we just finished about 50 acres or so of planting our cover crop and now we're going to head out for the day and so make sure to check out the video on how to calibrate your spreader for the cover crop and just also let us know if there's anything more specific that you want us to do or want to know by. We can make some more videos on that as well and then stay tuned to see the progress of our cover crop out here.